All right, we just stopped by the convenience store gas station to resupply for those few things we needed, some snacks, but this next section, you know, the water being so questionable. My pack now feels like a Sierra pack. Not because in the Sierra you need to carry water, that's the awesome thing about the Sierras, but because there's a section there where, you know, you need seven to nine days worth of food and you gotta carry it in a bear canister, all that weight adds up. Right now, I got a gallon of water in there in, in addition to my, uh, normal water supply so pretty pretty heavy pretty heavy load right now Ken's getting his trekking pole set up because we are back back to the Pacific Crest Trail so our little side adventure to Cajon Pass even though we're gonna be walking to the pass for a little bit here our side adventure is over and we're headed down to the tunnel that crosses underneath Interstate 15 sorry most of you guys never get to do this well, I don't know. How interested are you in walking under a tunnel? As you can see, it's a big one. Like I said, it's a big one. And it's even a spooky one because it's dark. It's just like you're walking into pitch blackness. Hey Ken, I don't know. This is looking a little scary. Into the dark. Into the dark. I just got out of the dark. It's daylight now. That's why we slept last night. It's okay, it'll keep you cool. It will. Watch for rattlesnakes. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I don't. No rattlesnakes yet. It's too early. Wow. This is this is pretty cool. The light at the end of the tunnel is the oncoming train. <laughs> Oh, I see lightness forming. I think the major thing is this is sometimes really wet. Yeah, I could see how this could get scary because it hasn't rained here for quite some time and there's still a good, decent amount of water dribbling down through here. I see the opening. I see the end. It's amazing to me is how free of debris it is. I and mean, there's that one log up ahead there, but the rest of this tunnel is clear. Well, folks, thanks for coming along with us. We really appreciate it. And now you've had a chance to walk underneath Interstate 15 at Cajon Pass. Clearly something most people, and clearly most sane, maybe nearly all sane people, never do. <laughs> I didn't see any snakes, did you? Nope. Let me know we there. And out of the darkness we emerge. All right. I would say we are now officially underway for a day, wouldn't you? Yep, back on show. Day 29, we are rocking and rolling. We'll talk to you later. <clears throat> this will officially be our last train recording from Cajon Pass. I hit this point and I was totally lost for a minute. There's a marker there, but I walk over here, it's like no marker, no trail. Had to pull out guts hook, pull out gut hooks. And then I saw on the trail where it said we're supposed to walk through a tunnel. And I saw over there. A tunnel and one can imagine why there might be a tunnel because maybe there's a train and uh, we're gonna go through the tunnel under the train I know I said no more trains for Cajon Pass but apparently I have no choice there's trains everywhere here from them. Did I mention trains are noisy? 
But man, they sure move a lot of stuff through the Cajon Pass. This train obviously is headed west. But here's a really cool tunnel. We're gonna be walking through with the train above us. Hopefully it won't collapse while we're walking through. I better make sure Ken knows where he's going because he didn't follow me when I crossed the road. He's coming. So, the train's still going. Tunnel's still here. Didn't I mention several weeks back how much easier the PCT would be if it was just riding on a train? <laughs> oh well, we're walking that way. A little cloudy this morning. In the haze. It's been a nice cool morning. Good for hiking. Not good for long distance skis. Well, folks, I told you I'd be excited to be here uh, walking on a new section of the trail because I hadn't seen any other section of the trail, and now I'm seeing the trail. Well, I'm seeing the trail, <laughs> but that's, that's about all I'm seeing, huh, Ken? I'm seeing the trail, which is cool. I'm sure there's some views out there somewhere. Hey, what'd you say? You're just about above the clouds. I think we are just about above the clouds. Not quite yet, but that's blue sky in front of us. It's been a wonderful, cool morning for hiking. Haven't taken in on hardly any water. Probably could have left a gallon back down below. <sighs> anyway, got it. Probably gonna need it for cooking later. Bit of erosion this year. Yep, we made it to Olympus. We're above the clouds even off in the distance. Once again, the mountains of Big Bear, San Gregorio, and there's the hillside with the trail we've been climbing. Moving on up. It's been a pretty good day so far. It's about 1.30, we had a late lunch. Well, not that late, but we just got done with lunch. We're walking again. And as you can see, we are definitely above the clouds and definitely headed towards the snow. Good chance we'll be stopping around 8,000 feet tonight. Let's know. We get there, but uh, Ken and I are debating about how cold it's going to be tonight if we're at that altitude. One of the reviews from the campsite we might be going to, the guy says, there's plenty of snow around for water if you need it. So, <laughs> we'll see. Wow, what a spectacular day for the view now that we're above the clouds. These are the mountains we're headed into. But as we turn to the valley, what do you think we see, Ken? Big Bear, Snow Summit, San Gregorio, and somewhere is Idlewild. Yeah, I think it's like almost like this is Big Bear, Snow Summit, then we got San Gregorio, and then I think that's Idlewild because there's that valley in the middle that goes to Palm Springs. So there's, there's some huge view up here today, even with all those clouds that kept us nice and cool this morning on the walk up. Pretty, pretty good. We haven't used we haven't used nearly as much water as we normally use on a trek like this. We're uh, 15 miles for the day so far of walking well over 12, well over 13 miles on the trail. And uh, man, basically I've used a liter. It's like a quarter of what I normally use on that kind of hike. So pretty cool. Anyway, keep it on moving. Hey, we're making our way up and we just came across a magical trail magic uh, place here. Uh, what we got going on is fresh fruit, which is gold for hikers. So there's apples, cantaloupe, strawberries, which we've almost finished off. Uh, little mandarin, tangerines. There's also beer and sodas and water and Powerade and chips. And oh my gosh, did you guys see the chocolate? No. no. Chocolate, we got East, Easter chocolate in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know who these trail angels are, um, 
but we would really like to tell them thank you very much this is awesome these guys these guys got it down they've got to be hikers that know what's going on <laughs> oh, yeah. fruit liquids all stuff we didn't have to carry up here and chocolate oh my gosh tree down still climbing but there's snow on the ridges now you see some down there well we are definitely up in the pine trees again of course it's also cold now oh well well we got to be getting close to the end at least within the last mile I know that because I'm getting pretty tired. I know we've climbed about 4,000 feet today. Pretty much all up. Wow. I can see Ken's got a spot ahead here. Let me see if I can spin this around. We got mountains of snow behind us. And I suspect we're gonna find there's a huge desert in front of us. When I get up here again. What you seeing, Ken? A whole lot. A whole lot? A whole lot. I don't know what to call it. Wow. Wow, we got mountains and deserts and clouds and and it's a long way down from here. That is, that is quite an edge. I'm not going to get any closer. You'll have to enjoy what you can. Day 29 activities are coming to a close. We're setting up our camp right up here. We're at a little above 8,000 feet. Off that way, views towards the desert. Coming around to the other side, views of the mountain. We've still got lots of sunlight left, but we hiked over 20.7 miles today. 20 of that being trail miles. So that's a good day, especially when you consider that of those um, trail miles, it was almost all uphill. We uh, came up over 4,000 feet and it's been a good day. So good time to call it quits. Save a little hiking for tomorrow and then uh, hopefully we can hitch a ride into Wrightwood. Check out what's uh, said to be a very friendly trail town. Down, in fact, Mountain Hardware manufactured the puffy that uh, the Kenny's wearing is, is headquartered there. I had, I had no idea. Here's that, that beautiful Mountain Hardware puffy. <laughs> anyway, it's, an, uh, it's a good puffy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we like it, so we, well. we may swing by their factory or whatever their office is. That's about it. See you tomorrow. Fair winds. It's not uncommon to be this dirty hiking on the trail, but this trail today seemed pretty clean to me. Obviously, it was more dusty uh, than I realized.